Hello, welcome to this PowerPoint games tutorial on how to make a twister picture puzzle game. This is the game being played. As you can see, you click on a square to turn it until it is in the right position within the big picture. Each click turns a square 90 degrees, either clockwise or counterclockwise. You complete the game when you have twisted all the squares into their correct positions, and you have the finished picture. Now let's see how it's made. Please note that the method I'm showing here can only be done in PowerPoint 2013 or later. To begin, select your picture. Then while holding down the control key, press D on your keyboard to duplicate it. You want to make the same number of pictures as the number of squares you want. I wanted this picture divided into 15 squares, so I duplicated it 15 times. You can achieve the same thing by copying and pasting. Now select all of the pictures and use the Arrange and Align menu. First, align middle, and then, align center. You might need to zoom out a little to select all the slides. Drag all of the pictures while still selected, back into the center of the slide. If needed, you can zoom back in. Now you need to make your rectangles from the shapes menu. I sized my complete picture to be 25 by 15 centimeters. So now I'm making 15 5 centimeter squares. Copy, paste and position these until the whole picture is covered by the squares. I've speeded up the video here. Group the squares in the top row, then copy and paste for the others. When all the picture is covered, ungroup all the squares. You now need to use the Intersect tool. To make things easier, you can put it on your Quick Access Toolbar. To do this, click on the Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Now click on More Commands. Then click on all commands. Scroll down until you find intersect shapes and click on add in the center. Now it is easily available in your quick access toolbar. To start the next part of the process, click on the square in the bottom right corner and move it to one side. Now, holding down the shift key, click on the bottom left picture, click on the top left square then click on the intersect button. Repeat this process for all the top and middle row squares. Hold down the shift key, click on bottom right picture, click on the next square along, click on intersect button. Each time you do this, you are using up one of the 15 pictures you copied and pasted before. The square intersects, which means it is filled by that part of the picture. I'll speed up the video here, until we get to the next key stage. Now we have the final square, which is out of position to be filled. So, move this into its proper position in the bottom right corner of the picture. Then, click on the top right square, which is now filled with its part of the picture and move this to one side. Now repeat the process like before, but this time, hold down the shift key and click on the top right part of the picture, then the square, then the intersect button. Now you have the big picture intersected by the 15 squares. Having completed this stage, it's now time to animate. From the Animations tab, open the Animation pane. Now click on the top left square. Then, from the Animations menu, give it a Spin Animation. Now, from the Animations drop-down menu, click on Effect Options. From here, change the amount to Quarter Spin, 90 degrees. Click on the animation in the animation pane, then click on Add Animation. 
Now give it another 90 degree spin animation. Repeat this add animation process until you have 4 90 degree spins. Make sure they are all set to start on click. Now, select all of the four animations and then click on the trigger button. Set the four animations to be triggered by the square you are working on. From the slideshow tab, you can see your animation work from the play from current slide button. This is working okay, but it's a little slow. Go back and select your four animations again, and from the drop-down menu, select timings and change the duration to one second. This is better. We've now got all the animation we need for the first square, so we can do something that makes animating the other squares much easier. Click on your first square. Open the Animation tab again, then double-click on the Animation Painter button. Now all you have to do is click on all the other squares to paint all the animations onto them. I've speeded up the video here. Apologies for the flashing white screen. I'm afraid that's what PowerPoint does. Click on the Animation Painter button again to stop it. To add some variation to the spins, you can select a few squares and set them to spin counterclockwise from the effects options box. The last part of the process is to select each square and rotate it by the rotation handle. These will be the starting positions from which the game is played. You can rotate them by 90 degrees once, twice, three times, or even leave one or two of them in their original positions. You should see them lock into position as each 90 degree rotation is made. I've speeded up the video here again as I do this. So now it's ready to play in slideshow mode. Once again I've speeded things up a little. And there it is. Our Twister picture game is done. Thank you for watching this PowerPoint Games video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notifications bell. Also, feel free to visit the website to see all the other games and tutorials we have for you.